Hello, this is Dino Oxels, and today we will be discussing the new for 2021 Safaro City releases. I am a little late on this, but school kind of prevented me from doing stuff because I've been really busy lately if you haven't seen my upload schedule. So that's why this is a little late. Starting off with the Sweetosaurus, oh my goodness, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's a nice throwback to an old Safaro City figure, just like the Chialan Sosaurus was. I love the colors. Sometimes, sometimes when I look at it, I don't like the colors that much. But, well, I, at the moment as I'm looking at them, I love them. A really nice contrast between this bright yellowish orange and this dark forest green. And they have this really nice piercing blue eye that was on the Chialan Sosaurus here. Um, well, it was on both figures, both the Sweetosaurus and the Chialan Sosaurus. Um... It is lacking lips, which is a problem and a plus at the same time, because Doug Watson, who sculpted this, cannot sculpt lift theropods and make it look right. The Chiansasaurus is a perfect ex example of this. I wish I had lips, but at the same time, the teeth look good. They look a little peg-like, but that's probably for child safety, because these are toys, after all. But... I don't know. Another issue I have is that the back line is a little strange. How it just kind of comes up, um, and then the hips just kind of poke up real quick, and then the body quickly like humps over on the top. It looks a little strange. It is in the Carnegie um, quote-unquote king of the world pose, which a lot of um, Carnegie collection figures were in. It's a little weird. It looks a little like, oh look, I'm a Tyrannosaur, look how cool I am, Rory. But, you know, it isn't that bad. There are a few little minute details that I really appreciate on this figure, like how instead of having some weird devolved scales on its um, hands and legs and stuff, it actually has padding, which is a really nice touch, and its scalation, mm, 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 mm. it has these little patches of like bigger scales mixed with little ones, and it looks really nice. Overall, it's a great addition to Sephiroth today's 2021 range. Next up is the Baryonyx. Oh my god, I love it. While the colors are a little typical, um, the way they are put onto the figure, especially in the in-hand images that we have of it, looks so, so good. I cannot wait to do photography with this figure. The scalation is top-notch. The skull does look a tad weird. Like, the crest is, like, abnormally large. But it isn't that distracting as I first thought it was going to be. So that's good. This appears to have the same padding as the Despedosaurus had. The teeth look great, even though they look a little too white in my eyes, but hey, that's a minor critique. This is a fantastic figure. I cannot wait to get this one in hand. Next up is the Spinosaurus. Oh my goodness. He is so, so pretty. So, so pretty. Oh my goodness. The stripes in the body look a little weird. But that's like my only issue with it, besides like some string graphing going on, but that's pretty much all of my critiques out of the way. This is a new sculptor, I, I will mention that, Doug Watson confirmed it. I don't really have much to say about this figure, because it's, it's just so good. I cannot wait to get this thing. Oh, it is tiny, it is very tiny. I think it's like 9 inches or so, which is pretty tiny. But they just released a big Spinosaurus, it's not that accurate, it's not that good, but... It makes sense that they would not have two giant Spinosaurus figures in a row. Plus, this is a quick release from Safari. I really hope this sculptor does more figures again, because dang, dang, they did a nice job on this one. Now, that was it for the prehistoric releases, like from the prehistoric collection line. Um, so yeah, if you hadn't noticed, the line was kind of small, but hey, quality over quantity. I'll briefly mention the Mythical Lines figures. They're okay. Well, the Triceratops is okay. It's it's armored, so not really my thing. Kind of looks like it was a Schleich reject. But, hey, it's not that bad. The Mythical T-Rex, on the other hand, he's, um, he's interesting. I think you can just leave that up to your own interpretations. So, yeah, that will do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and, uh, I'll try to upload more. I know I've been really bad about it, but I'm trying. I'm trying. I am working on the Kingdom of the Elders script, I'll say that much. And at the moment, it's looking really, really good. So yeah, that'll do it for this video. This is Dinoxels, signing out.